let's look at a brief overview of the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain extracts energy from molecules and uses that energy to make ATPs. We can think of the electron transport chain in terms of potential energy. In a staircase, the top stair contains a certain amount of potential energy. The middle stair contains less potential energy than the top stair. This is where our energy molecules come into the picture. NADH contains potential energy in the form of electrons. NADH enters the electron transport chain at a higher energy state to allow the production of three ATPs. FADH2 enters the system at a lower energy state, which allows for the production of two ATPs. The electron transport chain is located in the mitochondrion, specifically in the inner membrane. Embedded in the membrane is a series of protein complexes. The membrane is called the cristae. The outer portion of the membrane is called the intramembranous space. The inner portion is called the matrix. The protein complexes work to move hydrogen ions from the matrix to the intramembranous space. The last complex uses the hydrogen or proton gradient to make ATP by adding a phosphate to ADP by phosphorylation. NADH enters the system at the first complex. FADH2 enters a bit further down the chain. The energy is provided by electrons moving from higher to lower energy levels. We hope you've learned something about the electron transport chain, and we'll see you next time 